At lunchtime, at dinner, her convincing me I'm not an executive director. I'm a community organizer. Right. I'm not supposed to be doing this job. Why do you sound like this? Because we're still not together. So, so what we convinced her was that even community organizers can get to other top positions. Uh, somebody living in the White House used to be a community organizer. <laughs> When she finally embraced it, you know, she can't do anything halfway. She, she, it was a blessing to have a Kathy in that seat who took the time out to begin to teach her the elements of it, okay? And so, so I'm sharing this with you because most of the time when I share this with organizations, I'm talking to nonprofit 501c3, that's the tax code, right? Organization. They have a governing board. That organization actually gets its own money, manages its own money with its own accountant and staff and things like that. This is a little different. The other benefit of why we uh, uh, of you uh, of having um, Southwest Business Association as our fiduciary is they handle a lot of what we call back off the shop stuff. We don't have to create our own HR department. We don't have to create our own accounting department and all of those kinds of things. They do a lot of that behind the scenes with us and for us and with us. And it's evolved over time to where it's been. But for the sake of what we're doing here today, we are, this table, this governing organization, this governing board um, is essentially growing. Each one of you have, have referenced something about, you know, we're not the same. We can't do things the same that we used to do. We've grown, and so now we got to grow our processes so that we can communicate better and understand what happens between meetings and all of those kind of things. And so I share this with you because um, uh, when we talk about organizational life cycles, doesn't matter the tax code, okay? It matters that this is an organization of people that are doing uh, common things based on a mission that uh, Maria so eloquently talked about before. Birth, youth, midlife, and maturity. We've been, all of us been through birth. Even though we may not remember it. <laughs> okay? We remember some things about our youth, many that we might want to forget. Okay? Because we sometimes <laughs> lose it when you're in the youth stage, right? How many of us are raising teenagers? I know I got a junior in high school that I'm raising, and sometimes I wonder. <laughs> um, and then midlife, some of us are at midlife. And some of us are at maturity. Organizations go through that same kind of cycle. And so when you look down the left-hand side, these are just some of the elements of what happens when you're at birth, youth, midlife, and maturity as an organization, right? So when you look at birth, and you look at the size, the bureau bureaucracy, or the paperwork, or the red tape you gotta go through, the division of labor, who's doing what? Um, centralization. Who's doing one thing by themselves? Are we are we doing it all centralized or is it all dispersed everywhere else? Formalization. How formal are we? You know, um, are we following Robert's rules of orders or are we not? Or sometimes we do or sometimes we don't. Administrative intensity. Do we have an administrative assistant helping us get things organized, keeping our filing, or is, are we still trying to do that on our own and we got stacks everywhere? Um, internal systems. Do we have any? Um, at all, how do we how do we do what we do? And then uh, the last one says lateral teams, task forces, or uh, or coordination. So how are we moving the work? Uh, is there one person? Are the top leaders the only ones involved in it, or are the staff also at other tables out in the community? So when you look at this, circle where you think we are, because I don't believe any organization is just in one column. You actually kind of go around. Yes, then oh, you didn't get one. Here. Oh, here, come over. I was going to slide it, but the table's so big. I might have had to crawl in the middle of the table to get it. <laughs> Sorry, Minnie. Um, and so, just kind of on your own, go down this list and circle where you think Congress of Communities is. Did it? Hmm? Yeah, just kind of go down your own list. You can write, up, write on it or whatever. But. You know, in size, are we small, medium, large, or very large? In bureaucracy, are we non-bureaucratic, pre-bureaucratic, bureaucratic, or very bureaucratic? Um, circle where you think we are across the different uh, rows. 